Principle number five is discover the satisfaction factor. It says here, the Japanese have the wisdom to keep pleasure as one of their goals of healthy living. In our compulsion to comply with diet culture, we often overlook one of the most basic gifts of existence, the pleasure and satisfaction that can be found in the eating experience. When you eat what you really want in an environment that is inviting, the pleasure you derive will be a powerful force in helping you feel satisfied and content. By providing this experience for yourself, you will find that it just takes the right amount of food for you decide for you to decide you've had enough. Mm. I love that so much. You know, I think um, it's so interesting that in our culture we have um, somehow linked drudgery with health. Isn't that interesting? And we have um, also like somehow linked this idea of gaining satisfaction or recognizing satisfaction or going towards satisfaction as um, as irresponsible. And I think as they're alluding to here, it couldn't be further from the truth because when we are allowing, or as they say here, discovering the satisfaction factor, what happens is we we are able to discern that enoughness, right? And so instead of this constant search or this mindless, mindless trying to fill a hole, a quote unquote hole in our life or, or um, in this case, like when it comes to food, just eating and eating and eating, um, we can start to feel that enoughness. And that enoughness is, always comes from giving ourselves permission to align with satisfaction versus thinking somehow it's going to come through, uh, you know, drudgery, this rules that cause drudgery and just foul complying, right? Here, we're, we're finding that there is health and there is responsibility in satisfaction. And one thing I love about this too, is it, um, you know, I, I guess the one way I want to put it is you can't have satisfaction if you're not mindful, right? So there has to, you know, satisfaction is a byproduct of consciousness, of, of building your consciousness of your body, of your feelings, of how a food tastes. And, and there's nothing more powerful than building consciousness, than building mindfulness, than building self-awareness. That is where, you know, all of our problems can be solved is when we pull things that are below the level of consciousness to a little bit higher level so we can see them. That, that, is, that is the key, right? Um, and so it's cool to think about how um, satisfaction, when, when we're able to f- go after satisfaction and feel satisfaction, what has happened is we have been willing to be present and we have been willing to be conscious and we've been willing to be mindful. And so I think it's it's good to remind ourselves that those two things are linked, satisfaction and mindfulness. And mindfulness is always a beautiful practice in, in any arena that it is practiced. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you found this content helpful, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Also, if you're wondering how to become healthier, I've created a free masterclass for you that is truly your ultimate wellness guide. It's called Fit and Fabulous for Life, seven secrets that'll help you find your healthy living sweet spot. If you're intrigued, you should see a link to it on your screen now. You'll also find a link to it in the description box of this video. Thanks again for tuning into this video, and I hope you'll consider checking out my free Fit and Fab Masterclass.